guys, and welcome back to Let's Play Cataclysm Dark Days Ahead. When we last left off, we went on an exploration mission and attempted to explore the town. We failed. We found some nice supplies. Um, you'll notice there's a discrepancy between this video and last video. I was dumb and forgot to save uh, before I quit last time, so when I loaded the game back in, it loaded me at the last quick save, which was... Um, when I was fucking around with the vinegar, and then I killed a firefighter zombie and all that stuff. The difference between that video and this one is that I do not have a fire axe any longer, but I did manage to find a UMP-45, which, yay, but it's a submachine gun, and I don't have any 45 ammo anyways, so really not that... Well, I do have a little bit of 45 actually, but it's a submachine gun, Excuse me. And I'm trigger happy. So I'm pretty sure uh, uh, I'm pretty sure that prevents me from Yeah. It it's really not a an ideal weapon for me, which is unfortunate, but um you know, what can you do? Not not really a big deal. If I get a bunch of ammo down the road, I'll take care of it. Um, other than that, I cut up his, all the firefighter dude's gear, because it wasn't really anything super useful. I took all the Nomex and Kevlar out of it. Um, and I grabbed the SD card that I had, and I have the PDA here, and I think... Oh, I, well, I didn't mean to snort that coke. I meant to look at the SD card. Um, so I guess we're just going to be high on coke for a bit. And I don't think I can use my... Uh, yeah, okay, I can't use the PDA as a flashlight. I can use it to... Well, I'm sorry, I can use it as a flashlight. I can't use it to read a memory card. That's what... Um, I guess the laptop would be for, but I took that apart. So, yeah. So, it's 620... Uh, Karen is sleeping. I might as well read 101 Crafts for Beginners. All kinds of stuff there. Brings our fabrication skill to 3, which is it's at 1 right now, and you can make all kinds of good stuff here, actually. Uh, I see a shovel right off the bat, sledgehammer, charcoal smoker, which is really good. Um, lobotomizer, spare magazine... A recoil stock. So I might as well um, read. I know I'm tired, but that's okay. I'm I'm okay with being tired. Let's get fabrication to two, and we might as well eat. And all of our cooked meat has gone rotten, except for this one. And you know the drill. We're going to throw that in the fire. I also put my extra sewing kits and stuff in there. We still have some garbage here. I didn't mean to put that in the pile. There. All the cooked meat can go in there. Now, if um, I make a, I believe, a charcoal kiln, can I make that? Yes, but I need a charcoal kiln, which I don't have the recipe for yet. Um, I can start to make charcoal, and with that charcoal, I can make a smoker. And that, with the smoker, I can uh, I can obviously smoke meat with it, which is a good way of preserving it, making jerky, that kind of thing, uh, without the use of salt, I believe. And I may do that in the future. Uh, get that set up outdoors. I need welding gear. Um, I'm going to read for about an hour or so. There, so it's 10 o'clock. Did I learn any fun new recipe? I got to make a lot of stuff here, which is pretty sweet. Um, I can make a 2 by sword, but it's not going to be super useful, really. Knife spear could be kind of useful, sort of. 
But I still have my knife, so... You know, whatever. But fabrication is just a general all-around useful skill. Uh, I'm thirsty. Is there anything here? Uh, I'll drink the cider. And... I could eat those lemons, but I probably shouldn't. And we'll take our chicken and dumplings, and we'll drink some water. And, uh, well, I'm just going to sleep on all of this stuff, because Karen is sleeping on the rest of it. Oh, so you can nestle into the pile. Of, oh, and our strength went up a point. Excellent. So yeah, we'll nestle into our pile of clothes to stay warm, which is fine. We wake up at 8 in the morning. That's fine by me. Karen still seems to be asleep. Uh, we'll eat some more jam. Yeah, we'll eat some jam. Hungry and thirsty, but that's not. Let's eat our chicken and dump. And yeah, we eat our clean water. As usual. But the bottle's going to the food pile. And the food goes into the food pile. And we'll drop that off. Uh, how are you doing? Your strength is three to six, whatever. Can you trade me anything? Or can you teach me something? You'd rather prefer to keep that to yourself, fine. Can we trade items? All Karen has is a 2x4. Well, that's fine. Let's see. I'd like to know a bit more about you. Keep that to yourself. Fine. Okay. Let's go. So, another day. Well, actually, we'll have to leave that open so Karen can actually come with us. I want to see... As, as foolish as this might be, I want to see if Karen and I can take off that, take out that zombie Hulk. Because if we can, um, that would free up that part of town. It's probably a really foolish idea, and I'm probably going to regret it, but... Karen is pretty amazing so far, at least what, with what she's been able to do. There's a tough zombie, which, whatever. Come on, six key. Alright, here comes the zombie. Karen, you know what to do. Yeah, just wail on it. Doesn't even give it a chance. I have a towel, some other crap that we don't care about. So we've got another tough zombie here. No sign of the zombie Hulk. There's a shocker brute, which is uh, not good at all. I mean, there's worse, but that's that's up there. Luckily, it's pretty far away, so for now, we're okay. Yeah. Karen wrecks it before I can even do anything. Uh, there's another tough zombie and a, just a zombie to the east. That's fine. There is... there's the pizza place, and we've got a music store. I don't know what a music store would have that's useful, but I've never been in one, so we might have to check it out. There is... another NPC here that wants to talk to us, but... Um... Let's try to persuade them that we're not gonna hurt them. Good. Another traveler, we should tr yeah, okay, come with us, and you can keep me safe. Yeah, whatever, they don't, uh, they don't think I'm that good, but at least they, uh, they don't feel threatened, so that's good. Karen just obliterates that zombie in about two seconds, and it had nothing on it. That one gets shafted as well, oh, what a skinny tie. I mean, we could wear it, I guess. We want protection. Does it encumber us? 
Doesn't seem like it, so now we're styling. And I suppose actually if we had the stylish trait, um, you know, that would matter, but... Well, a fire engine is getting destroyed somewhere. Um, attack, please. So we're going to slash at it. The poor fire engine gets destroyed. There's a folded poncho here. We don't really need it. Uh, the music store is down here. There's a zombie soldier. So there's a bunch of stuff to our south. That's fine. Uh, Francis Ratliff, whoever that is. Is that the, okay, yeah, that's the guy we were just talking to. He's getting screwed over by a, uh, something. And southwest. When a monster is highlighted like that, that usually means... Yeah, see, that thing sounds dangerous. Francis down there is probably fucked. Yep, he's dead. He had sharpened rebar. Not... A lot of good. And there's a corrosive zombie. That doesn't sound good either. So the stuff here is uh, not great, but Karen decides to fall asleep. Um, okay. Wake up, please. Um, yeah, you need to. Sleep when you're exhausted, because right now... <laughs> right now you have some zombies to kill. I know you need to rest, but... No rest for the wicked. Uh, nothing good there. Just clothing. I want to check out this music store, though. There's a flute. I mean, I guess it would make sense that there's instruments here. Uh, I want to do the V thing. Ukulele. It's harmonica with a holder. Great. So, okay, you know, not surprisingly, the music store is filled with instruments. And a toilet. None of which is really useful. We got a zombie soldier and a boomer coming at us. Karen will probably take care of it. Yup. So at a chest rig, that is useful to have, actually. That is some storage. We'll take those. We'll take that. No. Um, Karen can take care of this boomer. Thump whack, glass breaking, glass shattering, just everything hit the fan. All I had was a pack of cigarettes. Karen is complaining about dying. There's the feral predator. I'm gonna run. Actually, let me whack it. Uh, let me get out my gun and just shoot it. There, it dies at a hammer. I don't think we have a hammer. I don't remember, actually, but we'll take it. I want to check out the MP... Ooh. Say, I want to check out the NPC's body here. And the skeleton just gets destroyed. I'll take the compression shorts, because I can wear those underneath. We got more stuff closing in. A tough zombie, a Z9, and a decayed zombie. Karen, I am bleeding. And I did not bring first aid. Um, can I? I'm losing blood here. How badly am I bleeding? Slowly losing blood. I'm in a lot of pain. I don't know why I'm in so much. Did that thing slash on me a whole bunch? Must have. Uh, what am I killing here? A decayed zombie. Crowbar. I mean, that's useful, but it's not going to be useful if I'm dead. Military rucksack. I'll take that. 
Kevlar dog harness. I can cut that up. Where is... Okay, there's this, there's his body. Did he have... Is there any kind of first aid here? It doesn't look like it. There's hazmat zombie, bloated zombie. I'm still bleeding. She's just going to destroy the hazmat zombie. Bloated zombie explodes. Karen, don't give a fuck. Please have some first aid. Still bleeding. Does the hazmat zombie have any? I got an electric polisher, which does fuck all for me. Geiger counter. Oh wait, no, this is the hazmat zombie. Mm, take the Geiger counter, but that's not going to do much for me. I need to see if I can get back to my house without dying. Actually, can I... Can I make some kind of medicine? Can I apply a rag? Oh, and there's our zombie hulk, friend. And there's not even rags here. I am in a lot of pain. Karen is fighting the zombie hulk. It sends her flying. I'm still bleeding. I might not, I'm not gonna make it. That's it, I died. I bled out because I was a fool and did not bring first aid supplies with me. And it just wound up being too much. Zombie predators, man, I guess you don't fuck with them. So my last words would be those rags. I'm not even sure if I could, uh, you know, throw a rag on me or anything like that, but, um, I don't know. Next time, I guess I'll bring some damn first aid kits with me instead of trying to free up as much space as possible. It's, I guess it's a bit pointless not to bring survival gear with you when you're trying to survive. You know, I'll have a big hoard of supplies back at the base and then, you know, not use them. It seems kind of foolish if you ask me, but, um, how many kills? We got 52 kills. Uh, Karen did die, actually. She didn't make it either, so... It's just, it's a sad end for for both of us here. And I feel like if I just end the video here, you know, people will see that it's, you know, 18 minutes and go, Why is the video so short? You must have died. I don't want to watch this. It's sad, but... Ugh. I mean, we could start, you know another character in the same world um, and then just kind of immediately get back into things but that's not nobody wants that I don't think you guys want that so let's have a little fun let's make another world um, we'll have some different mods here um, we'll go with our animatronic monsters why the hell not let's let's go with like a magical world here we'll have roguelike classes Let's have some fictional guns. Let's have dinosaurs. Um, um, yeah, let's get some mythological things in here. We'll get rid of the joke monsters, though. And zombie revivification, stats through skills, because that actually was all right. We were We were gaining skill points there. And world gen, it'll be the same as we always do. We're going to call this Magic Land because I'm clever and can't think of good names. So we'll make ourselves. Wait. Yeah, we want to go to Magic Land. Yep. And we're going to make our magical fuzzbutt. So, what kind of scenario? Do we have any like fantasy scenarios? 
It could be an experiment, but... No, nope, we'll be an evacuee in our profession here. We should have new ones. I think. I could be a barbarian. And it doesn't even cost anything, really. It could be a female barbarian. They come with melee, survival, dodging, and all that. That could be fun. I usually play as a... Um... A barbarian when I play generic RPG, some kind of just generic melee class, because I've never been like a magic user. Just not a huge fan, if I'm honest. And I start with a plated leather armor, that sounds kind of nice. What about a knight? What does a knight get? Knight has speaking, that makes sense. It could be a monk. It could be a priest. Get some fancy stuff like that, you get, you get speaking. Uh, it could be a ranger, that makes sense, or a rogue. Mechanics trapping, that's pretty sweet. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna be a fighter, I think. That sounds fun. As for traits, um, <laughs> I mean, I don't know if I want to sit here and be like, what traits would a fighter have? Just because, you know, if I'm honest, uh, I don't know. I like my, my builds, but we'll see. We'll go with those three at least, because you know, I'll be an ugly, truth-telling fighter. I'm a noble fighter, you know. Trigger-happy. I mean, I guess you wouldn't be if you're a melee dude. But, you know, what do I know? <laughs> Pacifist would be kind of ironic, but... Um, we won't worry about that. Um, Langorious... Late languorous. Um, so you get less stamina, but that gets you two points. That's not bad, because I wasn't using my stamina that often. And I probably should have ran, now that I think about it, towards the shelter to see if that would have helped. Oh, well. Um, heavy sleeper's always good. Forgetful is always kind of... Forgetful is like a cheap freebie for me, because I turned off skill erosion. I mean... But fuck it. I still die, so, you know, that's okay. Uh, an addictive personality, why the hell not? And let's see. We're gonna be. We, we gotta be a pack mule, because I'm always a fucking pack mule. Um, melee weapon training would be kind of neat, actually. Let's take that. I mean, because we do have melee skill. Uh, Fleet-footed. Let's be quick. And that's all we can have for our points. Stats we won't do anything with. Uh, bashing weapons we just start with. Okay. Um, let's get two points in construction. And... We'll take survival. We'll take tailoring. Arcana. Hmm, I, that must be new. I don't remember seeing that, but that's kind of neat. And we'll take... We'll take mechanics. So this guy can be a fantasy fuzzbutt, the first. Not that he's super fantasy, but we'll see what kind of fun things the world has to offer. So rapid strikes with a knife and baton weapons. It's kind of neat. There's fencing. And silat, silat, silat. Escrima sounds like my kind of style. So here we are. I've got hardtack and smoked meat. I've got bandage. I've got a broadsword to start off. Really? Well, that's kind of awesome. I'm going to go tear up everything. And a trench knife. Trench knife's good to cut up stuff. Um, well, fuck that. I'm going to wield a damn broadsword. Mind you, I'm encumbered, but... I've got, I've got leather armor right off the bat. I've got a scabbard. I've got a sheath. I've got a water skin. Sheath or knife. We're off to a 
interesting start here. Hello, Nave. Do you want to travel with me? Look, I have a broadsword. I you <laughs> look, I can keep you safe. You can't keep me safe. I've got a broadsword, but we're friends, right? I don't think so. Well, you're no Karen. I'm gonna fuck off then. I need a torch. It's dark. Can't see anything. Wait, wait, there's a pair of boots. First aid kit. That would have been nice for Fuzzbutt. Non drowsy cough syrup. What is this sorcery? And. Alright, eh, let me out. And we've started in the woods. There is a relatively crater free looking town down here, which is good. Excellent. We've got a boxing guy and a fitness guy. Restaurant, gun store, electronic store. So we've got ourselves a good little town here. We have space because we have a leather backpack already. Excellent. Problem is that water skin has no water in it. We just have hardtack and smoked meat. Hardtack's not great, but it'll work. Um, let's see here. Let's go kill some shit. Oh no, we spotted a dog. Who cares? Should be plenty warm here too. Uh, the leather armor should go on the outside. It's kind of the point of it, is it not? Um, apparently the scabbard is very bulky for some reason. Leather helmet, yeah, whatever. We have a broadsword. Their arguments are irrelevant. We're just gonna run right into town. We're just gonna like raid the first house we come across. Come here, zombie dog. I have a broadsword. Yeah, come grab me and see where that gets you. Gonna cut you the hell up. Oh well, we miss. We just went. Yeah, there we go. We chop it for 39 damage and just destroy it. So it grabs us. Hits our torso, but we have armor, so whatever. We chop it for 47 damage, and then we just say, fuck it. Cut it the hell up. We can cut it all up. The wind is making us cold, but who cares? So, come here, zombie. Cut you up for 47 damage. There, see, we're chopping these guys into pieces. We got cargo pants, but what kind of pants do we have now? We have just pleated leather armor. It seems to care, you know, cover everything. Still gonna take it. We got a pair of stockings that we could wear for warmth. So there's a zombie there. Come here. We're cold because it's snowing for some reason. Whatever. Fuck you, we win. Cargo shorts, cut it all up. Give us our skills here in fabrication. All right, let's just bust down this. Oh, well, how are we not smashing the thing? We have a broadsword here. So, grab a box of flour, milk, you know, it's going to be the same drill as last time, getting our basic survival skills down. We'll eat these grapes. Don't need a waffle iron. Box of oatmeals. Is there anything else in there? No, just a waffle iron. There is a stairs. A radio. Under the hood is nice for mechanic skill, I think. We don't need a tie clip. Let's head into their basement. Uh, I can't see anything down here. I think this is just a junk basement. Because literally it's just filled with garbage. Can't see anything at all. Apparently it's cold and we'll have to be frost nipped in a few hours at this rate. 
Talking doll, talking doll. Aluminum keg is incredibly useful. Uh, ooh, flashlight. Let's turn that on. Here we go. We'll take, take the hammer. Erotic novel, eh? Well, long strings are always useful in their own strange way. Uh, we can take apart the doll for the batteries. I really want that keg. Because at least in the... Um, at least in the long term... For water storage, like you really can't get much better than that. Gallon jug of bleach, cotton balls, and disinfectant. Always nice to have. Turn off our flashlight. Take these things apart. Drop them. There is a fat zombie. We'll have to lose some weight. Chop it the fuck up. Cut it all up. Because we can. We're getting really cold. What's an escrima bashing? Oh, we have increased bashing damage. Okay. Cool. Let's check out this next house. It's got a hazmat zombie in here. Come here. I got something hazardous for you. Bam. It, it hits us, but our armor protects us, of course, because we're a fighter. A radiation badge and a cash card. We got a clean suit if we need it for whatever reason, but we don't, so. Moving on. So bandana. Let's wear it. If we had a sewing kit, that would be very useful. Ooh, we got a delicious thing of mayonnaise and a screwdriver and a yeast. I don't need a steak knife. Batter fried fish, eh? Well, we have a fresh grape instead. Take a pot and a fr oh, no, we can't. We got a pot and a frying pan, though, which would be quite useful. Um. And actually, we'll drop the radio. We have no use for it. We've got a good amount of food here. 30 out 6 casing. No 30 out 6 to go in it, but. Oh, we got a grabber zombie in here. We're gonna kill it though. It hits our head. Ow. Anything else in here? No. But this is like one of those party basements. There's a wood saw. That's quite useful. There's a whole bunch of stuff here. Some some excellent amount of books. Um, which are very good to have. There's a bar back here with like got some food. Some ethanol, eh? Don't know why you'd have just ethanol in your bar, but okay. Glamopolitan. Pack of cigarettes. So these are all a bunch of really good books. And... sofa here. There's like food storage. I'd, I'd say we could make this our home, but it's back here. It wouldn't be super practical just because there's no natural light. I mean, yeah, there's definitely like weird glitches with like exiting Buildings, it seems. I hope that's a known issue. There's a zombie brute and amigo fighting somewhere. Um, I guess let's head back to the shelter. And, uh... 
drop our stuff off, and we'll make another run back in there. And those books will be incredibly useful. Uh, books always are, of course. So I'm just going to dump all my shit like last time. None of this really matters for now. It's too early. This time I'm keeping the goddamn first aid kit. And let's go back. Because even though I, like, I might just grab those books, and if I can find a way to get a ton of food, um, just fucking go for it. Sit there and read for a while. What is this? Oh, the talking dolls. That symbol just looked strange to me. Um, there's a Migo is still fighting stuff. That's weird. Yeah. I didn't bring my goddamn flashlight. Good job, me. Is this the right basement? No, this is the wrong house. Um, so let's leave the wrong house and go into the right house. It's good, good putting the, the window there. Oh, whoa, just hit my mic, sorry. It's good putting the window there between the two rooms where it's not actually accessible. That's an excellent design choice. There's a zombie brood to the west. Um, I mean, I feel cocky and overconfident because I have a broadsword. There's some dead guys over there. I mean, they were fighting that Migo. Take the wood saw. I mean, maybe we'll just, like, go into the woods and live off the woods, you know? If I can get good enough skill on stuff, how to succeed in business, self-esteem for dummies. Yeah, here we go. Uh, there was some food back here, I believe. Lunch meat, atomic energy drink. I'm sure that won't keep me up. Take the booze, because I believe you can make bandages with it. And we'll get the fuck out. We're rather encumbered for various reasons. It's probably the leather armor. But who cares? Yeah, there's a zombie brute. There's a crack somewhere as well. This is all to our west. Yeah, shit's going down over here. But there's so much stuff. I, I probably shouldn't go over there. But I kind of want to. I mean, look at all the bodies here. I mean, this is ridiculous. Like, there's... Like, look at it all. A brick kiln? Like, really? I didn't even know those things were really portable. There's a halogen bar. Those are kind of nice. Um, it's like a crowbar, I think. Essence? What is essence? It yields dull essence. What is essence? Um, Grackens are fighting. There's like so much stuff going on over here. There's an acidic zombie. I should probably just run. The Kraken is dead. Which means those zombies are just going to team up and come have some fun with me if you catch my drift. I never grabbed a pillow or a blanket. Um, no idea what time it is. There's no shelter over here. Let's see if we can run to it. Come on, save the game. There's a crack in a zombie fighting to our north, along with an amoebic mold. Maybe they'll kill each other, though. I doubt it. 
all kinds. The crack, one of the cracks died. Nope, the other crack died. There's three tough zombies here. Now they're coming after me. Maybe I can swing my sword at them. They tried to grab me, but we tore it up. It's heavily injured, moderately injured, and uninjured. So we kill that one pretty quickly. Maim that one. There, we made quick work of them. And that guy had a messenger bag, but we already have our uh, leather backpack. We got some bodies here. Uh, it looks like they were like baseball players or something. There's some knee pads. We can wear those. Why not? Uh, thigh high boots, eh? Kinky. Basketball. Don't know what we do with it besides throw it at zombies. Another basketball. Uh, no other clothing of interest. There's a whistle. I think we found like the local, like the basketball team. There's an inhaler, but we don't need that either. There's a Linux t-shirt. Neoprene arm sleeves. Those can be nice. Hard leg guards. I think we already have like armored stuff though, so might not be all that useful. More knee pads. So a bunch of useless clothing, and that's really about it. That amoebic mold is not hurting us at all, so we'll just leave it be. There's another shelter here. Is there anything in the basement? Sometimes these basements can be like stocked to the brim with supplies. I think it's like a it used to be like a one in ten chance that they would just be loaded. But it doesn't look like that's the case. And that's fine. Um, so yeah, I mean, we're off to an interesting start here. Um, I may change up my style a little bit. And... Um, maybe I can try to survive off the woods. Based on what, whatever I learned from these books, it might be enough for me to uh, survive. Oh, there's landmines right outside of the the shelter. What is this P? Danger minefield. Yeah, don't put the minefield right in front of the evacuation shelter. Come on. So right now our problem is that we don't have a reliable source of. Um, liquid things to drink. Uh, we'll keep the drugs because those don't take up any space. So what we would need to do is make a makeshift funnel or even a leather funnel. But we don't have a bone needle. We need a bone needle, which I can make easily enough. And we would need some rags and stuff like that, which there are a bunch in the town. And we can turn those into thread as needed. And the rest of the stuff I'm sure we can find. Um, leather patches I'm sure we can get. Wouldn't be ideal, but if we can find some bottles or big jars or something, um, I'm sure we would be able to... You know, get get a source of liquid. You know, drinking water. Um, I mean, we've got booze, but we don't really want to drink booze. I'm not a booze drinker in these kind of games. I guess in the meantime, we'll drink. We'll drink this can of soda. And now we're not thirsty. At least we've got some kind of food. I think my game plan in general will be to go pick up some of the stuff that we cut up there um, get some containers make some leather funnels and that'll take care of the water as far as food we can either hunt it 
we'll live off what we found in those three houses, then it should be good for a little while. I can rummage in the, the forest here. We've got a wood saw to cut down stuff. Um, those books, if they teach us to make a shovel, uh, we can survive. We can build ourselves a wood stove, fuel that, and then live off of whatever we get. So it'll be an, a, kind of an interesting change of pace. This is a good town, and there's some really good buildings in it. Electronic store is really nice. Um, gun store is good. Fitness. I don't know what the gyms will have, but they could have useful things. Sporting goods store is good. Clothing store might have something. Um, it'll be interesting to see what some of those fantasy mods add in, because honestly, I have no idea. I don't think I'm going to embrace the fantasy lifestyle too much, but that's more because I'm lame and shitty when it comes to that kind of stuff. I don't play fantasy games for the story. I play them for gameplay. I don't know. I'm weird like that. But I do think I'm going to call the video here, guys, and when I get back, we'll, uh, we'll try to put that plan into action. We'll see what we can do with it. Uh, who knows what'll come of it. It's a shame Fuzzbutt died, but that's, you know, that's the nature of Cataclysm. Um, so, yeah. I'll see you next video, guys, and as always, thank you for watching, and we'll see you next time. Later.